Good evening friends, Joshua here from Hicks Hickory. So uh, it is Thursday evening right now and uh, I was going to go live tomorrow night, Friday night and kind of share a couple things with you guys, but uh, an unfortunate event, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow, I'm having six teeth pulled. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't like metal in my mouth. I don't like the dentist. So what's gonna happen here is uh, I put a video together today. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, it's probably one of the most sincere, heartfelt messages that I've ever had. Buckin said it earlier about yin and yang. Well guys, God weighed this on my heart this morning when I heard this story. I get kind of emotional, but uh, I hope that you love it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm putting it up tonight. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go live tomorrow night, but hopefully I can get something up every weekend for you guys. We'll see how my mouth heals up. I told you I got to dig deep when it comes to recovery and me getting me together. I got to focus on me for right now. I love you guys. I thank you for your support. I think that this video is probably the most love that I've ever had to spread. And uh, like I said, God put this on me, friends, and I just felt compelled to share it with you. I'm so happy, I'm so blessed, and I have so much gratitude. Everybody that supports me, thank you very much. At the end of this video, I have a couple surprises for you guys. It's not a real long, like 15 minutes. Mike Hernandez, Pat Murphy, and Tasman Kitty Floor. Check this out, guys. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do my best to keep a hand on it. We'll see what happens. Megan, my love, I miss you. I'm super proud of you. Guys, Megan's doing awesome. Thank you for your prayers for her. She's bounced back. She's doing amazing. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I thank you guys. Till Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Keep a hand on it. What's going on? Josh here from Hicks Hickory. So uh, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm in between groups. And uh, I had a group this morning called uh, Moral Injury. And God is just weighing on my heart to share this. So uh, friends, I've had some videos. This channel is one day going to be me climbing and cutting and making handles and axes with axes and I have huge plans. But I wanna use this channel to uh, spread love also and just put some kindness out into a world that is completely broken today. And you know, moral injuries, stigmas, all the things that are out there today that are Satan's tools to just beat people to the ground and give them demons and they have no idea what they're coming with. I like to laugh, I like to have a good time. It's how I get through a lot of things. Um, as you guys are getting to know me, you know my heart. So this morning, I have a group and it's uh, spiritual growth and different things. And uh, there's not many of us to go there, but we watched a sermon, like, like it was a video today. You guys can probably look it up on YouTube, but uh, God is literally weighing this on my heart. If there's anything that I have ever said that has some meaning, it is today. There's two things that I'm going to do today that are so important to me. Um, number one, I'm going to share what I felt this morning because I think it's going to help and save a lot of people. I believe that in my heart and I feel like this is what God wants me to do. Number two, we're well, actually still on number one. You guys are going to enjoy this thoroughly. And if you do, thank you for stopping by. If you do, hit the thumbs up, like it. But uh, I have a message from God today, guys. And uh, number two, making good on my promises and keeping the things that I said I was going to do. Actions speak louder than words so that you guys continue to learn with me. As I said, the channel has plans. But for right now, I'm going to spread some love. I'm going to spread some positivity. And you guys are going to watch me recover because that's what's happening right now. I'm recovering. I'm digging deep. Um... And I'm making good on my second promise. On my website, it says, if you purchase a Hicks Hickory handle and you have to axe on that handle, then I will put that up on my website. Friends, you can see that the website's down right now. And uh, I'm starting to get an emotional thing about this, this speech. But uh, Mike Hernandez, Patrick Murphy, Tasman Kenny Fuller, you three gentlemen were the first people to send me photos and videos of Hicks Hickory handles hafted on your own axis. And I'm going to make right, and at the end of this video, you guys are going to see pictures of Tasman's, which you can also see on his website if you haven't gone there, you guys are from there. Awesome. If not, please check out Tasman Kenny Fuller. 
Taz, I love you. He's my absolute favorite. He's she's an amazing, amazing individual. Mama Taz, both of you, I love you guys. Patrick Murphy was the first man to come to my house and spend a day with me and make an axe. I made Jay Daniels double bit that day. And uh, he did my first unboxing. He bought me an all wooden spokeshave, which is my favorite tool to this day. And uh, Mike Hernandez is an individual who bought handles for me a few times and he sent pictures because he was just so pleased and loved them. All three of these gentlemen did an outstanding job and I cannot wait to show you guys these. But uh, first order of business. So what's weighing on my heart is, uh, I watched a video today. I'm gonna try to get the link up on the website under here. But you know, when you feel broken is when I found God. And uh, when I'm run down in the ground, you're beaten. You're, I, I, and for all of us, this was what it was for me. But for everybody, it's different. It could be finances. It could be marital. It could be family. It could be depression. There's so many different things out there that, that if, if any of you are think that there's no hope, please stick around. Because the Louvre, the Museum of the Louvre in Europe, they, they, uh, I've never been there. But there's a painting in the Louvre called Checkmate. And a checkmate is uh, on one side of a chessboard, it has a picture of the devil. And the devil's sitting there and he's looking at the chessboard and he's laughing. And then it shows the chessboard. And then it shows a man sitting on the other side of the chessboard frowning and he has his head down, he has his hand on his head. And it's called checkmate. Now this picture portrays a gentleman that lost his soul or lost his battle with the devil. But uh, in this painting, is that the Louvre? Well, the Louvre has tours that go through every day, and this happens to be, on this particular day, there's athletes and world champions, just a group of champions, world-level world, world level champions, taking this tour through the Louvre. And as they walk past this painting called Checkmate, he explains it, Checkmate, and everything, what this painting is, and the, the group moves on, but there's one gentleman that stops, and he starts, and he's staring at the picture, and he's just looking. Well, here, this man happens to be the world's chess champion, okay? The chess champion of the world. Now, he's standing there, and he's staring at the pain, and he's thinking, he's looking at the devil, he's looking at this gentleman, and, you know, after a while, the group notices that the gentleman's missing, and they, the, the, the tour guide comes back, and he finds him, he says, excuse me, sir, he's like, what, 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 what you, what's going on? He said, the group's moved on. He said, I have noticed that, and he's like, uh, He's like, do you like the painting? It's called Checkmate. He's like, you know, I've been standing here looking at, the pa at this painting. He's like, let me introduce you to myself. He's like, I am a world champion chess player. I've devoted my entire life to studying this board and to playing chess my whole life. He's like, and the more I look at this picture, he says, world champion chess players, professionals, athletes, sometimes see things that normal people don't see or the normal moves and the tour guides kind of looking at the painting looking at the guy kind of thinking okay and he says uh so what i've noticed is the devil's laughing the man's frowning letting him know that the devil's won the battle he's like so they're either going to have to uh change the name of this painting or they're going to have to take it down and he looks at the man and he says, what are you talking about? He says, well, you see, I've been studying the chessboard. And this is where it gets emotional. He says, you know, and he goes, and I can't help but notice. He said, look right there. He said, the king has one more move. The king has one more move. And the audience that's watching this just goes crazy because, you know, think about that. Our Lord, the king of kings always has one more move in this whole creation of time god sent his only son and i don't care what it is or how beaten down you are or how broken you are the king's got one more move so uh i don't care I'm here today to let you guys know if there's just one person out there that's broken, it's down, it feels like they can't win, that's bullshit because the devil does not win. He's always got king. He's always got one more move. Jesus Christ 
always has one more move. Open your heart and repent. And uh, I'm sorry. It just, I watched this this morning and it stuck with me. And you know, there's, there's times in your life when you're doing something and I can't believe how positive things are for me as my life's getting back together. And uh, it's so amazing. This video just, look at the hair on my arms right now. You can't fake that. And uh, if anybody out there feels like they're not good enough, they're financially, God's always got one more move. He's got control. He's got one more move over your finances. He's got one more move over your marriage. He's got one more move over your life. He's got one more move over the devil every time to save your soul. So uh, I felt compelled to share that today, guys. Um, I'm going to have a link for that video on the bottom of this. If I can if I can figure out how to do that, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'll have it done. Um, I thank you guys for your support. And like I said, this journey for me is just one that everybody that's supporting me right now is here for me. Megan, my wife, I love you with all that I am. She's the best part of me. She's beat COVID. Thank you for the spirit fire. Thank you for your prayers. Megan, marrying you is the best thing that I've ever done. And I mean that from my heart. You're the best part of me, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I'm super emotional right now, guys. It's just, it's moved because, you know, there's times in your life when you're going through something and you're leaning on God, you know, and people question stuff and they wonder. And, and, and as human beings, we want to drive the car. And it's so hard, but it's not. And you, when, when you open your heart to God, there's them times that something happens in your life and you've heard people talking about that one spiritual moment where he talks to you and you feel him. I haven't shared this with you guys yet, and I will. I'm not yet. But I've spoke with the Lord, and he came to me when I was broken and at my worst, as I told you guys. But last night, I'm sitting in my room, and I just felt his presence. I would go to this sermon today, well, this group, and this is the video. When I got back here, I was so hungry, I wanted to go eat, and I went to walk out the door, and something stopped me. I couldn't do it, and I felt the Lord in my room, and I was like, you don't want me to leave. And I watched this video, and I studied it, and I listened to it, and I got in my Bible, and it just went about the things and, and forgiveness. Forgiveness is where it hit me, and you know... I was beaten down and I didn't think I had that one more move. I didn't know the Lord yet, but I felt him today. And I, I do this thing called Bible dipping where I'll sweep it open and I'll hit somewhere. And uh, I found this spot and it was uh, <laughs> about how things can hold us back with spiritual growth and forgiveness and gratitude are the two biggest things for my life. I am so thankful for a second chance. I am so thankful for every one of you for being here. I hope you watch this. I hope you love it. I hope that you guys take something from this. And I pray with everything that I have that one person sees this today and they watch this link or they just see me and that God weighs on their heart and that just even one of you that are hopeless, that are done with stigmas, that are beaten to the ground, that are heroin addicted, that are going through anything in their lives, anything, the king has one more move. Every one of you are worth it. And uh, I just, I, 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 it weighed on my heart, guys. So, you know, there's going to be videos and there's going to be times. Bucken said it the other day. There's the yin and the yang. And uh, there's going to be times that there's videos that are fun and we're cutting and we're and there's going to be videos like this with me. And if I lose some of you, then, well, I'm doing what I feel like I'm, what I'm supposed to do. If you're here, I thank you so much. I appreciate and love all of you for this journey. Sweetheart, I love you with all my heart. Community, every one of you that support Tasman, that support Buck and that support Pixel, any of my friends that I consider family, guys, thank you all for being there. But uh, I love all of you. I thank all of you. And as I said in the beginning of this video, Mike Hernandez, Patrick Murphy, and Tasman. I'm going to show some pictures, guys. We're going to end this with something peaceful, some nice music, and check out the handles that these three gentlemen hung. So this, Taz, my first thing was making good was giving you your handles. And I'm going to complete every order, as I said. My second making good, I told you guys that actions speak louder than words. I said when you sent me pictures, they'd be on my website. Uh, I love you guys so much. And I thank you. And I'm making good in a second thing. Check out the handles that these guys made. Everybody, no matter what, Always remember that the king has one more move. And if you're broken, you don't go to the doctor because you're healthy.
Let Jesus into your life, guys. It's amazing the things that can happen. I love every single one of you. I thank you guys. And uh, dear God, Father God, please bless everybody watching this video. Please bless my lovely wife, our families, and anybody that's broken right now, God. I ask that just one person, even one, that can watch this video today that's in despair, that's broken, that's given up, can take something from this and they can feel the love and that you weigh on their hearts and that they come to you, God. Thank you for everything you do, for every breath that I take and every gift that I have. I am so thankful. In Jesus' sweet name I pray. Amen. Guys, these men hung some beautiful Hicks Hickory axes. Wasn't planning on doing anything today, but I felt compelled to do this. I have a little bit of footage to clip in the end of this with some music. Till the next one, don't forget to keep your hand on it. Man, can he fool with that? You changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean... Now we have Mike place. Hernandez. I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. Asked but not but least, my friend, Patrick Murphy. Hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not point fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you.